Several years ago, Joe and Lena Pennycuff of Jamestown, Tennessee decided to retire and open up their farm, giving families the chance to make memories and traditions for years to come. Enjoying the fall season and the holiday season as well. Although their health has caused them to narrow down their focus to only Christmas, they go above and beyond to make it a very special season for anyone who visits their farm. My husband and I are retired school teachers. We've spent many decades dealing with the public, educating people, dealing with people, meeting and greeting people. We really liked that. And when, when we retired, a little bit before we were retired, we were looking for the next phase of our life and what to do. And we had this farm here, and when we were both working, we, we were too busy to do much with it but uh, we called in the girls. We have three daughters and they're all married. We have three son-in-laws and we have seven grandchildren now. And we had a family meeting. Our youngest daughter, Casey Harris at the time, was the Upper Cumberland Tourism Director there in Cookville. And she came home from this meeting all excited and she said, Mom, Dad, I know what we can do. There's this new thing called agritourism where you do things and invite people to your farm and share in the heritage of the farm and all the different activities, uh, show kids and teach kids. And with the help of the Tennessee Department of Agriculture, the Department of Forestry, we found out more and more about growing Christmas trees. So we told the kids, we'll start out with one acre. If you'll clear it, we'll plant it. And so it started then, they, they all pitched in and they cleared an acre, we planted an acre. Then we cleared an acre and planted another acre, and then we ended up clearing more and more until most of the area around the treehouse here, it's what we call our store building, uh, is cleared, and we have several acres of different evergreen trees. We didn't have the infrastructure or the old barns and that sort of thing that a lot of farms have. And as we were designing and building this building here called the Treehouse, we thought, you know what? We'd really like to get in on having people here at the farm and sharing the activities on the farm more than just Christmas time. We'll have our, our house here, our treehouse. We have our fields. We'll have our acres of trees. We have acres and acres of the forest here. And we should plant some pumpkins and some corn stalks and, and sorghum and things like that. And we should invite school children, which was our specialty for years and years, and their families here to the farm. And the families and the kids loved it. It would be hard to decide who loved it more, uh, our family who was hosting those events or the people that came. We really, really enjoyed that sort of thing. And then from about September through December, we were busy with the fall activities and the Christmas activities. And then uh, just as the fate would have it, I had a reoccurrence of some, some cancer issues that I'd had. So um, we had to discontinue our fall activities and pumpkin patch and concentrate on getting my health back to where it should be. And of course the family all chipped in and so even in the darkest days when my health was not, not very good at all, uh, we were able to keep, up the, keep it going. And so we decided that the, the best gift, Christmas gifts that you can give are memories with your family. And so we tell people come here to our place. We give them when they drive up a bow saw and a drag sled and we tell them, go out with your family, find that perfect tree, cut it down, bring it back here. And we love going out on the porch then and watching and listening. They'll be singing Christmas carols, they'll be laughing, having such a great time. And that's what we try to do. We try to, to give them something besides a tree or a handmade evergreen wreath to take home. Uh, we try to give them lots of experiences rich that they will remember and their children will remember. We also want to really emphasize 
that Christmas is not just a season for getting things. It's a, it's a season for sharing things. God shared His love with us, with, with Jesus. And so we also have what we call a tree treasure maze. And we'll, we will give you clues for you and your family when you come, if you have time to participate in that with your family. We will give you clues and you can search the grounds here and see if you can find the true treasure of Christmas. Now, last year, our youngest grandchild was about 18 months old. And so she even was here in the store with us and we had her in a, a little playpen. And some children came in, they said, what's that? And we said, oh, that's one of our elves that works here. We have elves that work here. And they really thought that our youngest granddaughter was an elf and they couldn't wait to go back out and, and tell the rest of their family, you gotta see this, there's real elves here at this place. This place must be magic. And it is for us and hopefully for the families that come and visit us here.